Hi, this is a video just to show you the sliding stock that I sell on eBay. It fits on the Crossman 2240-2250. It's a five position M4 style unit, machined out of aluminium. Um, so obviously you've got your starting position there, which would be the first position, one, two, three, four, and five positions on that. Slide it back in. Um, the other advantage with having this is I've got a thumb screw in here you can take out. So if you were to take this thumb screw out, undo it, take it out, it allows you to slide the tube off the adapter. So then if you want to, you know, pack that up in your in your bag or whatever, that's even smaller now. And you can then use it as a, a pistol or whatever. So that's a handy little feature. And to obviously put it back on, you just slide it on and put the screw back in. Just pull that back together now. And that's back on. So that's a nice feature. So basically if you're fitting it. You've got the parts of it, and the, the, the part that goes in the back of the gun is this adapter part. And it replaces the little black end cap that's in the rear of the gun. You replace it with this. I'll show you how that fits. And this is a 2250 tube. Um, and obviously your end cap would be in the back there with the spring inside and your hammer and everything. So what you need to do is take your screws out and on this I've got some custom parts but it doesn't matter what screws you've got that, or, or what you've got a steel breech or whatever whatever screws you've already got are going to fit through and fit into this perfectly so you take your top screw out you might have the peep sights on here I've got my top rail that I make on here so I'd have to take that one out turn it over I take the uh, rear frame screw well I've got a bolt in here because I'm uh, I prefer a bolt in it. Uh, you take those two out, and then obviously your little end cap's going to come out. So what you do then? Take your adapter, and you've got a spring guide in this kit as well. Pop your spring guide in. Slide it in the back with the spring going over there, obviously. So that'll slide in. As you can see, what's going to happen is, see that on camera there. The holes are going to line up in there when they're in. And then you refit your top and bottom screws. Tighten them up and you're good to go. And then you add your rear part of the, uh, the tube on by, with a brass thumb screw. So I'll give you a little tip for fitting this if you do get one and you fit it. Is I take those screws out when I fit. And then what I do is I go to the front frame screw again I've got a custom part fitted on here that I make but if you've got this on you just just loosen the front screw just half a turn or if you've just got a normal screw in there just half a turn it just allows the frame just to move a little bit more because when you start this bottom screw up and I'd start by putting the bottom screw when you get the adapter and get it started it gives it a little bit of play so you, everything's lining up good the grip frames lining up and everything's lining up so get your bottom screw in tighten it up don't tighten it all the way, nearly tight, but a little bit of play on it. Turn it over, put your top screw in. Once you're happy with that, tighten them up good. Turn it back over, tighten your front grip frame screw up. And you're good to go then. So you get that style of um, stock there. Uh, and depending on what I can get hold of, it might be something else. It might be something like that. But whatever's in the picture on eBay is the one you'll get. If you do want to remove, for some reason, if you actually want to take this off, when you press this down, the little bit that comes up at the bottom, there's a little slot in it. And what I do is I take a little Allen key or a thin screwdriver and I put that through there. That allows you to get your fingers on it. So you can pull it down and you pull it down all the way and then you can slide the tube out. So to put it back it's the same. Put your key in there, pull it back, Pop your tube in, let it go all the way in, 
Try it again. You set up, good to go. Um, uh, this one, if it's something like this, basically it doesn't matter which unit you've got, you need to get this further down than it's going on this one. There's a couple of little, there's a bar there, so what I'd do with that is I'd get my fingers on it and pull it that final layer down, see if I can do it with this for you. So you'd slide it in as far as it'll go, pull this out and then I'd get my fingers on that last two bits, pull them and it drops in. And then unclip it. So hopefully you can see, very easy to fit, uh, good little addition to you, gone. Cheers, thanks for watching.